uh, both candidates last night made some claims that we want to take a closer look at this morning. Yes, we do. So local fours Grant Herms is with us this morning, working with the trust index team throughout the night, fact checking both town halls and joins us now in the studio. All right, so let's start with the Biden campaign. Let's start there. Yeah, we're going to start by taking a look at the former vice president's record on law and order, specifically his backing of a controversial bill from the early 90s. Now, we should also say we're going to do one candidate at a time this morning because they weren't on the same stage last night. One of the major issues for Biden during his campaign has been his support of the 1994 crime bill, which has been widely criticized as racist. Here's what he said about that last night. The Black Caucus voted for it. Every black mayor supported it across the board. We're calling this one Be Careful for a few reasons. For starters, it's impossible to know whether every black mayor in the country at the time supported the bill, although it did have support from some prominent black mayors, including the mayor of Baltimore. As for the Congressional Black Caucus, a majority the majority of the caucus did vote for the bill, but not every member. The bill was also opposed by the NAACP at the time. Biden has also made some claims about what happened after the bill passed. We'll test them together. Violent crime actually went down precipitously. Remember the significant rise in violent crime that was occurring in the late 80s into the 90s. It went down and fewer African Americans were arrested. We're also calling this one be careful because it needs unpacking. Biden is talking about community policing here and the result of the 94 crime bill. According to a government accountability office report, violent crime from 1994 to 2000 only fell about two and a half percent, not exactly precipitously. Biden is likely drawing on the controlled numbers in that same study, which said adjusted for community differences, the bill with funding for community patrols accounted for 7 percent of the fall in violent crime, but still far from precipitous. He is right, though, that African-American arrests dropped after the bill passed, despite it largely being credited with continuing the trend of mass incarceration for minority Americans. Now, Biden has said before and said again last night he thought his support of the bill was wrong in hindsight. It was also the biggest divider between himself and his running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, during the primary. Now, coming up at the bottom of the hour, we're going to take a look at the president's claims about his strongest issue, the economy. Everett? All right, Grant, thank you for that.